Guys, look at this. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> You know, in my countries at this time, it's still very late. It's still really dark, very dark. It's dark. It's not very dark, but it's dark. Not as bright as this. Strange country. Guys, I can't. I can't. Be, guys, I can't believe it's six. It's six p.m. in Ghana. It's already dark. So in my country, 6 p.m., this kind of darkness, this is like midnight. This is something, it comes at around midnight. But normally at 6, we still have some light, some sunlight. I think that's the effect of living near the equator. So something new for me. Hello, great people, African traveler again. If you are new to this channel, I'm a travel vlogger from Kenya and uh, visited Ghana just to explore this beautiful country and during my stay in Ghana I realized that we share so much in common uh, I believe uh, it's almost the same across Africa uh, there's so much we share in common and we just have a small difference that uh, you'll get to notice as you stay in each uh, whichever country you choose to visit and uh, during my stay in Ghana I just wanted to share some of the things that amazed me I don't know if it will amaze you or shock you so please watch this video to the end and don't forget to leave a like comment and share as well so let's get to it so guys i'm at shop right this is how it looks like guys i want to show you something see alcohol is all the same i mean i so, <laughs> if you are Kenyans and you see this, it's a mess. In the main aisle of the people. You can buy it anytime the supermarket is open. So in my country, alcohol, you have to, if you want to sell alcohol in a supermarket, it has to be in a cage uh, somewhere in the supermarket. And you can only sell it from 10 to around 2 p.m. That is the law. So, Ghana, amazing country. Amazing. Type of Fanta. Lemon, pineapple flavored cocktail. Different, you know, the orange looks a bit different color. But this will have club soda. One thing I love about Ghana is just their buildings in terms of color, they're really bold. In terms of architectural design, they borrow a lot from the African civilization architectural designs it's something that really really i really loved and i hope yeah we borrow such you know the buildings are really unique to ghana and it's amazing
where top celebrities in West Africa come and stay. Name them all, Whiskey, the Vido. One other thing that you love about Ghana is just their interchange, They're just on another level, you know. I know Kenya, we have very good roads, highways and stuff, but in terms of interchange, wow, you'll be amazed by the interchanges in Ghana. So Ghanaians, is, is it wrong to just want coffee in the morning? Is, is it a mistake? What, what did you do? What, what, what did we do? I'm just surprised to see that Ghanaians are not used to tea. I'm really struggling to find a place to drink tea. And just a small uh, hotel or restaurant, you understand? Uh, it's really strange for me, you know, in Kenya, morning hours, you have to get tea, you know. Tea is, tea is compulsory, you know, it's a, it's a basic requirement to have tea and some donuts, uh, mandazis. Man, here in the morning, guys, eat, eat. It's, it's really strange. And uh, the other thing, as I told you, it's really hard to find a sit-down restaurant. Uh, most of them are, uh, in Kenya, we call them kibandas. Uh, here, it's just open streets. I don't know how to call it. Uh, for me, it's really strange. It's really strange. I don't know. It's it's a thing I'm used to. I can't I can't eat before I just drink tea or coffee. So yeah, I'm finding it very hard. I've been walking for the past like three kilometers. Uh, the the first sit down restaurant I found uh, was really nice, but didn't have. Uh, yeah, didn't have anything to eat. I yeah, know. So I'm enjoying some broilers here. Some fried rice and... What is it? Shoto. 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 Mm -hmm. And some amazing juice. This juice is life, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. When the chili kicks in, I just take it down with this. Yo, so in my country, we don't really take chili uh, to this level, you know. Maybe half the population never use chili. Uh, in Ghana and West Africa, they call it pepe. So if you're from East Africa, like 99% of the food will have chili, either in mild or strong. But even if it's mild, for you, it will always be strong if you're not a chili user. But yeah, so if I had stayed in Ghana for long, I would be adapted to it because man i started just attacking chili uh, from a person who's never used who hardly used chili or pepe yeah guys i'm I honestly didn't expect i'll enjoy this food honestly it's really nice <laughs> would you like to try with a chili and no. chito <laughs> maybe yeah. chito yeah chito um you have to drain it oh <clears throat> sorry sorry you have to drain was the paper so do I dip, do I spill it somewhere over here? Yes, yes, just put it aside so that you don't mix everything up. Yeah, it's okay. Like that? Yeah. So don't add the oil. Yeah. Yeah, you mix it before you take it. Uh, I'm having um, rice and peas, we call it wache. Mm -hmm. um, chicken, egg, and hot pepper. Sorry, repeat? Chicken. Wele, wele is like the skin of a cow, <laughs> egg, and hot sauce. And hot sauce. Yes, but you're not having? hot. You're, you're having the same thing, chicken, mm -hmm. watch it, the salad, yeah. egg, and then the soft mouth sauce. <laughs> it's oh. my yeah, just look at this. Then I'm going to have tilapia in a car. We have chicken there. So this is grilled? Yeah. Grilled fish. I want this one. So guys, I'm not drinking coffee. This is Milo and a meat pie. So one amazing thing about the Milo in Ghana, it's 
cold. <laughs> it's cold water no. and mellow. This one is a beverage. So this is a beverage. We made it in a beverage form. Mm. So that's why it's cold. You have the hot one? Yes. Wow. Wow. Uh, this is my first time trying uh, this kind of a beverage. It's amazing. It's nice, especially on a hot weather like this with a hot meat pie. Oh, nice. How you know it's African? <laughs> it's not complete. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a sauna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A free sauna. The streets of Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> no, we drive on the right side. <laughs> so this guy's this guy's drive on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, he's driving huh? on the wrong side. Look, look, see where the steering is. <laughs> so we, in Kenya it would have been here, so <laughs> on the right side, so oh, okay. they're on the wrong side. Okay, sorry, <laughs> so guys, Ghanaians drive on the... Oh, in, in my country we drive on the right, in Ghana they, they drive on the wrong side of the road. There is, there is a Okada guy waiting for traffic. The Okada guy? Hey. It's kind of, I'm just showing you. You call this Boda Boda? What do you call that? This motto? Yeah, mot Okada. Okada. Yeah. yeah, in my country they don't wait for traffic. They don't wait for traffic. Ah, uh, never. <laughs> it's, it's interesting how you guys respect traffic like Where they come from? They're a big boss. Oh, no. Yeah, so in Ghana, anytime you want to leave the city, let's say from one region to the other, there's always a toll road. This is something will be strange to an easy for to, for to a Kenyan. We are not used to toll roads. You can move from one region to the other without paying for toll roads. Yeah, in Kenya, we normally pay most of this from fuel cost. So anytime they want to increase or they want to recover some cash, government usually add it on the fuel cost and yeah so this is something was unique for me i know we'll have the first one is um we'll have expressway uh with a tour station but uh generally in kenya we're not used to tour roads they have been there before but yeah right now we don't City is like 20 bob, 50 pesos is like 10 bob, less than that, it's like 18 bob. Yeah. So, uh, every time you move from one region to the other, if, every time you move outside, one, yeah. one region you pay. So, it's not expensive though. Yo, the markets in Ghana are just huge huge and selling everything you know from meat you know i found them to be way huge in that you have even a, a bus station inside the uh inside the market so that really was mind-blowing to me so that's something i'm sure you guys would be amazed as well that is the kumasi king yes is it the current king or the current king Yeah. Yeah. So right after this, you could see that um, 
roofing sheets. Yeah. Yes, they'll take that also away and then the third face follows. Oh, the third so, face yes, follows. So it's like a three wow. face something. Because they're going to have the biggest market in the world. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Guys, it's crazy. The heat is huge. Market days are Saturdays and Wednesdays. And today's on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, it's just that normal. So day. it's crazy on crazy. This is strange in my country. That's complete. The local language we use. Like, I want to only take half pictures. It's bad. This is, this is the food market. Yeah. Food market? Yeah. This, guys, this, this, this is bread being sold on this road. Everybody's selling bread here. This one company, they call it A1. A1 what do you mean A1? That's not number one. Oh. Wow, Nappy just bought a bread. <laughs> Can I have a piece? So this is, yeah, this is butter bread. <laughs> Let me try. Yeah, it's so fresh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you don't have bread in Kenya. And you don't buy bread on the streets. Yeah. Mm. They they have. Have. No, yeah, I know they have. They yeah, have bread. It might be different type of bread. Oh, their bread is so nice. Mm. When I go to Kenya the mm. first day, mm -hmm. That's what I bought first from uh, um, the, the, the more has been. Kids learning eggs. Yeah. Yeah. I said if you give him, like, okay, let me use dollars as well. He said if you give him four dollars, he's not going to take it. Just give him three dollars. <laughs> Who? He's selling learning eggs. Oh. In Kenya, we have focus. I was not surprised to see focus in Ghana. I was amazed to see the, just the sheer number of hawkers on the street. So the number just was mind-blowing. I've never seen such a huge number of hawkers on the street. And uh, in Ghana, you find hawkers literally everywhere. If in Nairobi, you'll understand. Uh, like if you go to Karen, Runda, you know, Parklands, you find hawkers everywhere. To the highest class in Ghana, so literally on all the roads, especially where there's traffic, you'll find hawkers. In Kenya, it's not the case. Very few hawkers on the road. And in Ghana, you can actually buy everything on the road. Let me just tell you, Kenyans. It's like, apart from human beings, everything else is sold on the road. Like, even if you have a hundred hawkers, they hardly sell the same type of item. So most of them selling different items. And that's why I'm saying, if you're coming from, let's say, office and going home, you can hardly go to the supermarket in Ghana because you find almost literally everything on the road. Yeah. to buy something it's not complete right yeah oh this is cigarette mm -hmm. really <laughs> guys just look at that a lot of ornaments 
So Nati, where are we now? So we are in the beach area, Nyanyano, last stop. Yes. No, sorry? Nyanyano. Nyanyano, I keep yes, forgetting stop. that name. So Nyanyano, last stop. Yes. Oh, so this place, I've seen it on so many uh, pictures of Ghana. And I told Nati, it may not look the most beautiful place in Ghana, but it's one of the most unique, unique areas. So we had to come here guys yeah. to build a canoe by themselves yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's gonna a part of this journey is going to also enjoy the culture the vibrancy of the people so uh, follow us guys and you guys are gonna love it so this village i really loved it you know it's like a whole community just revolves around fishing you know everything is linked to fishing even if you're having a small shop you know you expect fishermen to buy from you so this village really i loved it you know the concept everything is done in groups you know fishing uh pulling the boat you know the ladies taking the fish and selling them like everything is linked in this village like the unity that i saw in this village was really mind-blowing you know i really really loved it <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you if you haven't liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, like, share, comment, and uh, thank you for always supporting me. Thank you, and uh, see you in the next one.